we know the next pair will be Matt Hagen versus Alexis DeJoria. DeJoria already with two wins, looking for a third. No female funny car driver has won three races in a single season. She'd love to be the first to do that. Talking with Alexis DeJoria's crew chief, Tommy DeLago, he said uh, he was very satisfied with the way the car left the starting line in that last round, so they've made no changes there. However, he did tell me there's a lot more left out there down the racetrack. So he has tuned it up, trying to break into the threes on this run. Big deal, too, for Alexis DeJoria, who today eclipses the 100th round of racing. This is her 101st now. Well, and the focus right now has got to be the Christmas tree because she has been struggling the last two races. As I mentioned, you go back to Seattle, she got beyond on a whole shot by John with that 150 light we heard in her interview. She almost two-stepped it against Courtney when she started to go squeeze down on it, then backed off, the light came on, and she was late. Now, just get the focus on there and try to basically see when that amber light gets on and hit it as quick as you can because that man right there, Matt Haig, is one of the best in the business. This is a rubber match meeting between the two the seventh time. Dead even, three and three. And Alexis, you know she's got plenty of girl power back on the starting line supporting her. Hagen looking to go to his third consecutive semifinal. Be the first time in 2014 the driver of the Express Lane car has done that. I do like Tommy DeLago's strategy, though. The middle of the racetrack will hold quite a bit, and we saw John will go 271 miles per hour in the, in the middle of the racetrack. If he can get it car accelerating very quickly the first couple hundred feet he throws everything at it as long as it hasn't worn too much clutch it'll run a number Hagen racing his old crew chief Alexis with the track record here set earlier at a 401 second off the line first there it across is. the stripe say hello to the sub four second pass <laughs> 3.998 Tommy D yeah I tell you what, I love it when a plan comes together. When the crew chief can start calling his shots, that is a beautiful thing. That 399 at 315 miles per hour, she was running 274 miles per hour at the eighth mile. That's what Tommy D was talking about. Like the way it left, it left just as hard as the first round, but then he started throwing everything at it. Boy, that thing really marched through the middle of the racetrack because Matt Hagen had the advantage off the starting line, but boy, look at that car. Just all the mail all the way to the finish line. Great job. The 29th. Sub four second pass, the second by Alexis DeJoria. That car is thundering today. And with Tommy DeLago, you told me you were going for the threes there, so uh, how, what's it feel like to run a number you say you're gonna run? Well, it feels really good, and uh, like I said, we've been testing all weekend, so we get one more test run. We'll have some fun. They're testing, and they're also trying to win a Wally, and who knows, maybe set some more track records in the meantime. Well, there's one very happy driver underneath that helmet who has been bouncing since she popped out of that car. Look at that, 3.998. You know who took notice of that? No doubt John Force and Tommy Johnson Jr. won half of the Funny Car Semifinals. John's 406 gets lane choice. On the other side, Alexis is 3.998. Good enough for lane choice. The 14th sub four-second run in 2014.